Kevin Gifford left Zimbabwe more than 10 years ago. He says he was forced to move after his farm was seized by armed youth when President Robert Mugabe began his so-called land reform program. It was a scheme that took land from white owners and gave it to black Zimbabweans. Gifford says starting from scratch in Mozambique wasn't easy, but he's doing well now. From having nothing being produced here, we, we've got a farm of 460 hectares. And uh, with that 460 hectares, is, uh, we, we grow about 220, 250 hectares a year. We employ anywhere between 175 to 350 workers here at any one time. Over the last 15 years, more than 200 white Zimbabwean farmers have moved to this part of Mozambique. They were attracted not only by the safety this country offered, but also cheap land leases and promises of bank loans. The farmers say they have been treated well so far. I do feel welcome in Mozambique. I think Mozambique has been very good to us. Um, it started with uh, President Shosano inviting us to come and help develop his country and I think the government have been very proactive on that. Um, of course we've had our problems. Um, everybody does. Um, but, but yeah, I'm comfortable here. Two hours drive down the road is Bill Creswell's tomato farm. He too came to Mozambique with little. We started initially very small and we've grown, we now grow 12 hectares of horticulture. It doesn't sound much, but in terms of tonnage, it's, it's quite, quite big. But it's not only the new farmers who are doing well. It seems the new wealth is trickling down to locals. In a region with high unemployment rate, these foreign-owned farms have given the local economy a much-needed boost. Hundreds of mainly young Mozambican men who had no jobs before now work on these farms. The farm workers know why their Zimbabwean employers are here. They say they want more of them to come. What happened in Zimbabwe, if it happens here, it will be sad for us because he's helping us a lot. In this community, there's a lot of unemployment. Back at his farm, Kevin says he would love to return to Zimbabwe one day. But for now, he has bigger concerns, like finding new markets for his produce. Hamza Mohammed, Al Jazeera. Chimoyo, Mozambique.